YouTube! How are you guys doing today? So, in today's video, we're gonna be going over something that I feel like is not necessarily thought about a lot, but it's a very highly valued and really, like, or, or undervalued or whatever. It's a great way to make Platinum that I feel like a lot of you don't necessarily think about consistently, but it's really helpful. So, we're gonna get right into it. The first thing that you guys are gonna wanna do is, if you're aware of, like, what kind of sets that you're maybe one part away from having, or something like that. You're gonna look these up, right? You wanna verify and double check what it is that you have. So for me, let's go with Vauban because I'm pretty sure that there is a Vauban Prime that I'm missing a part for. Oh, so I got one. Okay, so I got Vauban Prime Systems, right? But if I look at my other parts, if I had another seven of these, I would have eight Vauban Prime sets to sell. So instead of me being like, oh, because let's pretend they didn't have this. Um, instead of me being like, I don't have any Vauban sets or whatever, I could literally just go to the Warframe market, and this is what, for the systems? So I can go to the Warframe market, right here, I can type in... Vauban Prime Systems, and for those of you that are new to this site, this is Warframe.market, make sure you select your platform, okay? Because you can literally find people that have what you're, what you're selling. So, Vauban Prime Systems, I'm gonna hit enter, and we'll scroll down, and I literally could get now a Vauban Prime Systems, for 79 or 80 platinum, depending on if this person's actually here or not. But hopefully one of these three people are here and then I could snag one for like 80 plat. And if I wind up doing that, then what am I looking at here? That means I can sell a Vauban set for 300, maybe even 350 in trade chat, depending on the day, depending on like how, uh, I guess like much I'm in trade chat. But what did that cost me? That cost me 80 plat, so if I sell a Vauban set for 300, I made 220 plat. If I sell it for 250, I made 270 plat, or whatever, which isn't bad. Like, it's it's kind of a decent way to, to milk a little bit more plat out of the things that you already have without having to go crazy and, and, and thinking that you need to form an entire set of something out. So, it's definitely worth you guys, like, just checking what you have. Now, Necros Prime, I literally, I was missing a blueprint, so I just bought one. Now I have another Necro set left. And you guys can see literally one, two, and three. These are all just individuals. Once I get this set sold, uh, all I'll have left of Necros is like five, five of this part left. So at that point, is it worth it for you to go and buy the other parts out? Probably not. Just maybe if you want to actually do the research and you want to type in every Necro set here, or uh, every Necros part here, and just kind of tally it up and see how much platinum you're making. If you're gonna make 20 to 50 platinum off of buying all these parts individually at the hopes of selling it at a, a set price you have in your mind, I don't recommend doing that. But if you're very confident, like I know I can sell a Necro set for 350. I bought this blueprint just now for 67 plat. So I'm gonna make almost 300 plat now off of selling this last set that I'll have because I know confidently, because I've sold many of them before, people hit me up for that. For selling a Necros for 350. So if you're confident and, and you know that you could sell something for a certain price and you're one part away, maybe two parts away, you do the math and figure out if it's worth it. Arguably, I would say if you're not gonna make um like let's pretend I had to buy two parts and those two parts cost me 200 platinum and all I was gonna make was 300 platinum. So if it cost me 200 just to make an extra 150, I'm that's not something I'm gonna do. But I did this because it only cost me 67 plat for this one part, and I'm gonna make 350, or really after the 67 minus that, I'm gonna wind up making almost 300. What is it, that, like 287? I'll make 287 off this Necro set. So at that point, spending 67 and making 287 additional plat, then I would say that's worth it. If you guys are gonna make at least half back of whatever you spend to fill your sets up, then it's probably worth it for you to get into it and do something like that. So. I feel like people really just kind of don't think about this a lot when they're like selling stuff in trade chat, but I really feel that it's something that's worth bringing to your attention because a lot of times you sit in trade chat and you're like, I don't have anything to sell or I'm really lost. Skim through your items in game, like see what you got. See if there's anything that, you know, you might just be missing one more part on and then figure out how much you're going to be able to sell that for if you have the whole set. And then as long as you're going to make more than half of whatever you spend for that one or two parts, then I'd say go for it. It's a go. Green light, go. But all that being said, hopefully you guys found this video helpful. If you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, turn notifications on. If you guys like free weapons, warframes, or mods, I'm live every day on Twitch, and you guys can earn those literally just by watching my Twitch channel. Ask me more about how that works when you get here, 
And uh, hopefully you guys have an awesome night day, whatever time it is. Absolutely love your faces. And I will see you guys in the next one. Laters.